Hi everybody, welcome back to the table. So we just got do done doing a pour on a metal tumbler. And I had some leftover runoff and some paint. And so we of course are gonna use it and we're gonna put it on a canvas. Our colors today are our Ultra Dye Blue Bayou, Ultra Dye Turquoise, Ultra Dye Tantalizing Teal, our silver, and then Tuscan Red. We actually put glitter in every single one of our colors. Grab my glitters real quick because I already put them away. We put bling in our silver. This blue it actually doesn't have a name. It's Createology um, blue. We put this one in the tantalizing teal. This one went into the turquoise. I'm dropping more glitter on the canvas. And where'd my red go? Oh, here it is. And we did crimson in the um, red. So it's going to be very glittery when it's done. Hopefully the tumbler will also be glittery. Okay. Let me stack these up and move them out of the way. So we did have some runoff. I'm going to move that out of the way. So this is our runoff from our tumbler that we are basically going to flip this over onto the canvas to give us a base just like it was a black base or a white straight base so we are just going to do this we are going to dump it on here try and get as much off as we can okay i'm going to get that out of the way Okay, now that we have that part done, let's go ahead and shift it around. And if we can get this covered, then once we do the pour, we, um, we won't have to shift as much because the canvas will already be covered. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this shifted around chunk of something right there.
colors on the screen do not show the colors that are actually in front of me. It's kind of crazy, the color difference. Okay, so this one is all done. We will come back whenever it dries and decide what we are going to put on top of it. See y'all soon. Hi everybody, we're back. This is Everything is Dry. Um, the camera's not picking it up very well flat down, but um, I can tilt it just a little bit and you can see all of the sparkling of all of the glitter that we have in there. So, um, we can't put vinyl directly on top of this because of the roughness of all the glitter. So what we have to do is we have to put a coat of resin, um, of epoxy resin on top. And then that'll give us a nice smooth surface to put vinyl on top of. If we try to do the vinyl on top of here, then the, the vinyl is actually going to have bumps in it. So we're going to go ahead and do our resin. I have all the resin mixed up here. The resin that we're using today is, it's this Envirotex, oops, wrong side, Envirotex Light. It is a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's these two bottles. It's one-to-one. -one. You've got the resin and you've got your hardener. And I actually like to use um, these little cups for smaller pieces because I can actually measure by these ridges. So that makes it to where you don't have to use a little bitty measuring cups because you can just throw these away. Also using the two cup method, um, I pour of course the resin in one, the hardener in the other, and then I pour one cup into the other one, mix it up till it's nice and clear, and then I pour that one into the other cup and then mix it up again so anything that was trapped on the bottom that I didn't see will come to the top and then if we can mix it up so we make sure we get a good full mixture. Um, I am going to hit this with the heat gun and the blow torch so yeah there are bubbles in here but that's okay because I'm going to get them out with the um, heat gun. Okay so we're going to get started. Okay, that is all covered. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. All the glitteriness. So we are going to let this dry and then we will come back and see what vinyl we're going to put on top of it. See you soon. Hi everybody. Okay, we're back. It is all dry. Um, I really like the way it turned out. It really makes it just glitter really well. And um, sparkles. So the next step we are going to do is put the vinyl on. Um, I chose the scripture for the company, which is God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. 
So we are just going to put this on. Now, one thing about the epoxy and the resin is once you um, stick the stuff on there, it's not going to come off. So make sure you get it right the first time because this vinyl sticks to this epoxy like crazy. So I probably should do the hinge method on this, but I'm already here. Okay, so we are going to put this on. Just like that. Let's seal it down. Now this um, decal is actually one that I made. Um, and so I will put it to be available for purchase on the, my Etsy page. down okay let's see how it comes off There we go. Okay. Got like a little air bubble thingy going on up here. Make sure that's smoothed out. Okay. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to put another coat of resin on top of it. And we are going to seal everything in and see how it looks. Okay, so I grabbed all the materials. So again, we are using the same stuff, the Envirotex Light. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And I like to use these cups because it has the little ridges on them and it actually gives you a pretty good um, measuring scale. So we're gonna do the one-to-one -one ratio. I don't need that one. All right, so we are going to pour one into the other. Making sure to get it all out. Okay, and then we are going to mix. Now some people go like really slow. I just mix. Um, I've always done it this way. I've never had a problem with bubbles or anything because I use the uh, torch. Pops all the bubbles for you. So you don't have to go as slow. So I just mix it up nice and quick. And then once it's mixed in one cup, then I pour it into the next. It's called the two cup method. And the reason I do this is so if there is resin that did not get mixed that's on the bottom, 
then by doing this you're kind of bringing it to the top so you can make sure you get everything mixed. Okay, so we got it in this cup, now we're going to mix again. Okay, until you get a nice clear um, epoxy that doesn't have any um, fogginess in it basically. Okay, so that's done. Again, wearing gloves. Always wear gloves when you mess with epoxy. Make sure all of your air bubbles are out so the epoxy doesn't get underneath. Okay. And then we are going to pour. All right, there we go. Took my glove off. Okay, so here it is. We are going to let this dry and then we will come back and look at the final product. See y'all soon. Hi everybody. Okay, here we are with the finished product. I want to thank everybody. Let me see if I can turn on a light here real quick so I can get some more glitter popping out. I want to thank everybody for joining us today as we got this all built. I hope everybody enjoyed watching and learned some new tricks. Um, I am really enjoying the way resin looks on these paintings and I'm probably going to continue to use resin and I think I'm actually going to go back and put resin on some other paintings and um and then repost them so again thank everybody for watching i hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day today is monday and so um it's just the beginning of the week but hopefully everybody has a wonderful and productive week thank you very much for watching again if you like what you see please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will do my best to get back to you. Again, please subscribe to my channel. We've got so much new stuff coming this weekend, getting on the scroll saw, going to build a segmentation cross for you. And then we're going to paint it and put some vinyl on top of it as well. Um, just all kinds of new stuff coming. Some more scroll saw work, some tumblers, all of that kind of stuff. So you don't want to miss it. Um, so again, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell button so you can be alerted whenever we get new stuff posted. And I think that's pretty much it. So again, thank you for going through this with me. And um, I did make this vinyl, so I'm going to be putting it available on my Etsy page Um so if you like it, you want one, it's going to be on the Etsy page whenever I post the painting as well. Just go to, on Etsy, Guided by Faith Designs, um, woodworkinginfaith.com, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net, and um, on Facebook, 
at Woodworking in Faith and Guided by Faith Designs. Again, I want to thank everybody, and as always, God bless.